Good evening. My name is Carolyn Black, and I'm the Director of Music at St. Paul's on the Hill, and I am doing your compline for this evening. I want to start with a Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in our heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace, at once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Psalm 31, page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. 
Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord of truth. Psalm 134 on page 131. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. This is Hebrews 13, verse 20, 21. And now I'd like to read a portion of Luke, the Gospel according to Luke. Once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed, nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there it is, for in fact the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to the disciples, The days are coming when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. They will say to you, Look there, or look here. Do not go, do not set off in pursuit, for as the lightning flashes and the lights up in the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. Just as it was in the days of Noah, so too it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage until the day Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed all of them. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking and buying and selling, planting and building. But on the day that Lot left Sodom, it rained fire and sulfur from heaven and destroyed all of them. It will be like that on the day that the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, anyone on the housetop who has belongings in the house must not come down to take them away. And likewise, anyone in the field must not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Those who try to make their life secure will lose it but those who lose their life will keep it. Tell you, on that night there will be two in one bed, one will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding meal together, one will be taken and the other left. Then they asked him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. In the Shawshank Redemption, Redemption, a prisoner is re paroled after spending decades in prison. He has become accustomed to a way of life in prison. The predictability was reassuring, and confinement had become a form of security. Unable to adjust to freedom after nearly a lifetime of incarceration, 
this form a prisoner takes his own life. For those who have been in prison for a long time, freedom can be incomprehensible and terrifying. And now I want us to pray for those who are in need. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly home, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, Give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now for the, those who are our essential workers. For Terry, Donna, Dennis, Charles, Phyllis, Jonathan, Deanna, John, Edmund, Reva, Patrice, John, Ruth, Eloise, Mark, Ginger, Father Charles, Daryl, Melissa and her family, Bev, Anastasia, Tina, Nils, Bill, the Horton family, and George. For our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Tenku, Pablo, Marco, and Anthony. For those who have died, especially Mary, Marion, Jeffrey, Iva, Bob, Ron, Dolores, Ralph, Nick, and Lisa. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stay safe, my friends. Wash your hands. Enjoy Thanksgiving with the few people who live in your home. And God bless you. Amen. <laughs>